I, don't get me wrong, I wasn't completely sold on the USC frat boy from Pennsylvania. All right? <laughs> I said I was getting sentimental. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being here today at this beautiful venue for our beautiful couple. There are a million things that make these two perfect for marriage. First is how they are able to bring out the best in each other. Anyone who has talked to Aaron for more than five minutes knows he is so much fun, so outgoing, and the life of the party. And he really brings it out in Caitlin. He's the one in college who would drag Caitlin out to the bar, and luckily for Aaron, Caitlin is strong enough to literally drag him home. <laughs> and Caitlin, she is incredibly patient, strong, and caring to every single person she meets, and she helps bring that side of Aaron out. I mean, any girl who meets a guy in a penguin costume at a concert, decides to date him and marry him today, knows she's gonna have to be pretty patient. The second thing is their support for one another. Aaron and Caitlin have lived in five states in the last three years. Whether it was our college years, moving from state to state, changing jobs and starting over, they were always there to love and support each other at the end of the day. They are truly soulmates. The third and final thing that I believe makes Aaron and Caitlin perfect for each other is their unconditional love. Even as I stand up here today, the evidence of their love is indescribable, and I think everyone here would agree. I cannot wait for you two to be officially married, and I know your families feel the same, both the ones that are here with us today and the ones who could not be, particularly Caitlin, your father, Jim, whom Aaron never had the chance to meet. However, Aaron, Caitlin told me that in another world, if you had met, you would be so close, and he would have loved you so much and been so happy to have you in the family today. And I know he is looking down on us all I'm thinking that very same thing today. All right, so what do you all say? I stopped chatting, let's get these two married. <laughs> With this ring, will you, Aaron, vow to keep Caitlin as your wife, your favorite person to laugh with and to go on adventures with? Will you support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With this ring, will you, Caitlin, about to keep Aaron as your husband, your favorite person to laugh with, to go on adventures with. Will you support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day? I do. The moment we've all been waiting for, by the power of the internet and the <laughs> marriage license signed in Texas last week, <laughs> I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Colburn. Aaron, you may now kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Aaron and Caitlin Colburn. Come on! The first tip was always to introduce yourself. Um, I didn't feel that was too necessary. I'm Caitlin's favorite person, been around for her entire life. But I am her sister. I'm Nicole, only sister, because my mom got it right the first time. <laughs> I quickly learned that being the cool younger sister was way more fun. 
As we became closer and grew out of our I hate you sister face, I got to learn more about Caitlin's relationships. Not to be biased, but I truly believe that Aaron is the best one of all. This is where I get a little sentimental. <laughs> I've always been proud of Caitlin, but I am especially proud of the man that she chose to be her husband. Aaron, congratulations. You now have the hottest wife out there. My name is Colin and I'm joined here with my brother Jordan. We wanted to think of how do we put Aaron into words um, and we ended up settling on a few ingredients here. He's goofy, he's got tremendous grit, he's got a wild streak and a little bit of luck. A lot of luck. Maybe a lot of luck. <laughs> my mom used to tell me when I was younger that Aaron was put in this world so I could smile more. Aaron is the reason why they invented child leashes. <laughs> That kid got lost a lot. It was truly an honor to watch you, and I can't wait to watch you continue to grow with each other, and I love how you let her be her own person. Here's the Colburns and Aaron officially welcome you to the family.